what's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, this video is going to be a ui challenge guys uh, so far in the ui challenge series the most popular one has been the furniture app series wherein we recreated an entire set of screens belonging to a single particular application right so a lot of people were asking me when are you going to uh, do a similar set of screens uh, and hence in this video let's attempt to recreate uh, this complete set of screens there are a total of five screens belonging to a single application this application is intended for a uh, car service station i guess for a particular maker of cars uh, so yeah starting with this screen the one on the left most end this screen we'll do all these uh, screens in a subsequent way i mean uh, in this video we we'll, let's take a look at the screen and uh, these four screens will be the subsequent videos of this series okay so uh, the screen is pretty much simple we just have a logo on top this logo i couldn't get so i'll just try to use a logo that comes along with uh, the material icons pack and uh, a text and an image and uh, uh, another couple line of text a couple of lines of text and some details about that particular vehicle and a uh, bottom navigation bar that's it right so well yeah let's go ahead and try to uh, recreate the screen i have a blank application here that i scaffolded out just now first of all i'll just give a color background color equals colors dot white okay and then uh, body oh body is already there body i'll use a list view list view and uh, inside this i can do i'll give a padding first since this and all these have a uniform padding of 15 units on the left right so i can simply assign that i mean give that padding to the uh, body itself so padding will be edge in set dot only uh, left 15.2 okay and uh, children uh, column column uh, children once again i'll use the padding uh, edge in set Engine sets dot. Oh, sorry. Twenty five minutes, and uh, this will have a child. This child will be nothing but an icon. I couldn't get this exact icon, guys. So I'll just use one of those material icons that come along with Flutter. Fine. Uh, let's just save this and see how this looks on our mobile device. That nice icon on top. The only difference is it's the only thing is it's in the middle, right? So I'll just. cross axis alignment dot start if you save this it will automatically be aligned 15 units from the left fine uh, the next thing we need to do is this big text okay i don't know what font is this one if someone knows kindly drop it in the comment section below so for that text what i'll do is i'll give a sized box first so that there is some spacing height some 20 units maybe and uh uh once again this is nothing but a text right i'll just give some padding to the right so that it automatically wraps to the uh bottom and then just you know fine now we have the text as well i just gave the uh, vehicle here and then the color that which i picked from the using the color picker from google chrome and uh, yeah let's save this so that you guys can see how this looks on the mobile device see you get the text exactly like it's here right the font is a bit different guys that's why it looks now that we have the text let's try to bring in this image okay so after the text image dot asset i already have the image in the assets directory here as you can see here i have a set of fonts and the image so i'll just go ahead and uh, use that image assets uh as it's porsche porsche no it's porsche or porsche i don't know uh and uh, we'll give some attributes as well box fit dot cover uh height will be some 175.0 and uh with to be wait i'll bring these to the next line with to be media query media query dot of context dot size dot with 
minus 30 fine uh, let's just save this and see how this looks on a mobile device fine this looks really good right the only difference is we have a spoiler on the uh, back of the car whereas here the spoiler is not there but I couldn't get an exact image like this guys that was an exact image but it was flipped to this side anyway let's move on uh, we just need a couple of lines of text next so what I'll do is after this once again it's just going to be text right so I'll just pause the video recording here and then fine I have added those two lines of text let's just save this and see how this looks on our mobile device cool right so now we have uh, this lines of text as well these two lines of text as well uh, now below that we need a line and then some statistics and another line right so for the line as usual we'll use Fine. Now save this. Let's see how this looks on a mobile device. Okay, we get that nice looking line. I don't know if it's visible on the video, but there is a excellent looking line here. And after that line, we need a row which has three columns, and those three columns has three uh, statistical data. Right. Uh, this one you can get it from your designer, guys. If you are working for a company. Uh, this is not going to change right miles per gallon I think and uh, 0 to 60 and the HP this three are not going to be changing so you can get uh, SVG probably from your uh, designer in your team okay so for now I'll just use uh, the default icons that come with uh, medical framework but if you are making this design in your uh, company just get it from your designer okay and uh, after this where I was yeah after the line after the line we'll have another sized box height would be some uh, 20 maybe and uh, padding would be padding edge in sorry edge in set start only sorry sorry right 15.0 fine after this uh, uh, child row and inside this I'll do a, a main axis alignment main axis alignment dot space evenly space evenly uh, children widget column column children widget icon icon start card travel height would be some 5.0 sorry sorry 5.0 after this some text save this Let's see how this looks on the device. Since you gave it space evenly, it will obviously place that on the center. Now we need two more columns like this, right? So this process is going to be exactly similar to what we were doing. Wow, we get a nice looking uh, statistics. The statistics exactly like this one, we have it here, right? 443, 3.1. Once again, these three icons, probably SVG ones, uh, you can get it from your uh, designer in your team, guys, if you are making a screen like this. Okay. Now, the next thing we need is a line once again and a, a simple row of text, right? So, for the line, as I said, uh, we can simply use a container. Fine. We have a line now. And after this, all we need is a row.
okay i was going trying to bring in this particular icon anyway let's just go ahead with the refresh icon then uh, text right exchange your vehicle cool now we just need a uh, arrow right this arrow so you should have probably use this font guys this font looks really awesome for the screen whereas the font that i am using currently the montserrat font uh, though it is good i don't think it's doing much justice to the screen design uh, we just need a icon once again right? we will just copy this after this we will paste it and then here icon start uh, arrow forward i think save this let's see how this looks on the mobile device yeah it looks great and uh, we need a bottom navigation bar once again bottom navigation bar we have custom icons these custom icons you would obviously need to get it from your uh, team designer right so for now i'll just you know use some random icons that come with come along with uh, uh, the material framework bottom navigation bar i think i have already covered it a lot in my previous videos guys so what i'll do is i'll quickly you know wait first we need a controller and some single ticker provider state mix state mixing and then after this tab controller controller and uh, after this uh, uh, we need a fine we have a controller for the tabs and a uh, dispose method as well now let's go ahead and uh, bring in the actual tabs in the bottom navigation bar we'll use a material widget so yeah we just have three tabs that will do nothing as of now we'll save this see how this looks on our mobile device obviously it won't uh, the reason being uh, it will throw up an error since we have included an init state method right see so we'll just do a hot restart fine it looks really good right the bottom navigation bar so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today now we have this entire uh, design right as you can see here we just recreated this uh, entire screen uh, we couldn't i mean it would have been really good if we knew what font this was and uh, the if we had used the same logos i mean same icons as in the design spec but uh, forget the icons if we had just used the font that was in the design spec i think it would be a little more uh, better so anyway yeah this is what i wanted to show you guys today uh, going forth we will be doing all these screens as well this one this one and this one the subsequent videos will be uh, about these screens as well i have already i mean uh, by the time i make this video i'll be making these four videos as well i'll edit them one by one and then simply upload them subsequently guys that's it that's what i'm trying to say here anyway if you really like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button if you found this video helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too and uh, uh, if you like what i'm doing on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button guys hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you receive notifications each and every time i upload a new video so that you don't miss out on any of my content okay so yeah subscribe to my channel it's free and uh, yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video hit the thumbs up button guys bye